Hi, I'm Richard Watts, founder of HR Maritime. Welcome to Commodities Brief, the show all about commodity trading in partnership with Copy TV. This is the first of a series of shows where we'll be focusing on the world of commodity trading. In fact, we'll be looking at it from two different angles. First of all, we'll have a number of episodes looking at the actual day-to-day world of commodity trading, how it works and how we actually operate the different trades. And at the same time, we'll be focusing on different commodities and having a look into recent price movements, the methods of transportation of those commodities, and also having a look at the price fundamentals, which have an impact for future price movements. If we're looking at commodity trading, it's important to talk about what is commodity trading. Commodity trading is, we're talking about the physical trading of raw commodities. We're not talking about derivatives trading. We're not talking about the financial markets. We're talking about purchasing commodities in a country and transporting those commodities to another country and selling them. If we are looking at commodity trading, it's important to establish what we trade. And so when we're talking about what we trade, we trade absolutely everything. Everything that we can possibly imagine has been traded at one time or another. In fact, an awful lot of things have been traded multiple times in order to manufacture them. If we look at things like our clothes, the cotton that has been used to manufacture the clothes, the dye that has been used to colour the cotton in the clothes, the plastic that we use on a daily basis, the glass that we use on a daily basis, these are all being traded. And as I said, some things have been traded multiple times. So if we look at a car, for example, we start off with the iron ore and the coal. These are transported to, for example, China. In China, they are then manufactured into steel. All the different components of the car will then be collected together and they will then be manufactured into the entire car. And so everything that we consume on a daily basis is made up of all these commodities which have been brought together. Now, again, whenever we're looking at commodity trading, we have to talk about why do we trade? Now, it really depends on the point of view. If we're looking at it from the point of view of a trading company, then the trading company is benefiting from the comparative advantage between different countries. So if we take, for example, a trade of wheat from Brazil coming up to Egypt. Brazil, Brazil has a lot of land. It has a relatively low population and it has very good farmland. And so wheat can be produced relatively cheaply. Egypt, Egypt has a very high population. It has quite infertile land. And so the wheat there is produced much more expensively. And so the trading company will simply purchase the wheat in Brazil and then will transport it to Egypt and sell it and benefit from the price differential. Now, if we're also having a look at it from the exporter's point of view, the trading company is actually providing an export market to the farmers in Brazil. So the farmers in Brazil don't just have to sell on the internal market, but they can benefit from the world prices. And for the importers, the distributors in Egypt, the trading company is supplying the demand that they have in their local market so that then they can benefit from the international prices. So, why do we care? Why is it important to know about commodity trading? Well, as I said, first of all, everything that we consume, everything that we ever buy has been traded at one point or another. If we're looking at it from a trading company point of view, then we have to know the actual details of what we're doing on a day-to-day basis, how that works. If we're looking from a derivatives trader point of view, then we have to know what are the commodities, how is the trading of the commodity made up that actually provide us with the products that we have. And for everybody else, it's important to know how the goods that we consume actually come to be on the shelves of our supermarket. So that's it for this episode of Commodity Brief. I hope that you'll join us back very, very soon. Next time we'll be talking, looking at the different types of commodities. So in partnership with Duke Scopy TV. That's it for Commodity Brief. Thank you and click back soon.